obviously Lulu is banned away. The Rakan, I think, still works with his draft even into the Alistair here, but you could also just, you know, okay, well, the yeah. conversation's over. I mean, this has felt pretty obvious here for Genji, this entire draft for T1. It felt like they were trying to to fix the Azir Pryo they had on B1 yeah. the entire draft. And it's just like the foundation. Challenging this Drake. This could get pretty iffy because Jovi's just not here. Okay, they are going to back off. I'm like, I don't know if you want to fight this 3v4. But yeah, it's, uh, but there's three members of Gen G and the back completed here for owner. Just an ult away from Death is Doran. Pretty low. And uh, it's probably not going to matter. Holding Counter Strike. You see Zayus trying to. Oh, Doran really flying close to the sun. Flashes after he dies, but it's still first blood. I don't think he's going to be that greedy here, but you know that owner back, he's on the other side of the map. And uh, let's uh -oh, see how he pays. All right, just gonna face check the Kha'Zix. He's just dead as owner will just collect a kill. I think it's when you see that play bottom side there, you feel pretty confident you can pull it off. Kha'Zix is obviously not top side, so they can get more down here. Trying to go pretty deep for this one, trying to get on top of Peanut, but the peel from the Rakan is huge. Guma taking a lot of damage, but it works out for him. The turret shots getting carry out, and Guma so low as Doran, he's gonna get in here, hits the stun, as now Karia not gonna help out his Kha'Zix. It looks like a dead bug once again, as Doran gonna pick up a double kill in the bottom lane with that. Like the blast plant here, a little bit awkward because he gets the <laughs> counter strike before they can launch, and that means Guma will go down as well as Owner, who is still flashless on this Kha'Zix. Yeah, it's definitely really huge for the side lane pressure of Doran. Now, oh, of the choke points, so it's really hard to actually start this one up. Uh-oh, owner, he's gonna get knocked up by the Rakan of all people as Kha'Zix! He doesn't flash, he doesn't jump away, just doesn't expect... Maybe grab this mid turret, will be the second of the game here for T1. A lot of extra gold for Faker, so that's a nice play. But man, that was... This dragon, now Gen.G. Not a huge amount of indexing into fighting this one, as we mentioned before. It's not really huge value, but it's still okay. a Doran. And that's how you respect Flash, guys. <laughs> Perhaps owner can watch the VOD from uh, from that one, because Faker just in the top lane. He's like, take out this the turret. turret. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, get a little bit messy down there for a second. Everybody wanting to fight over hey, the... Like, they're trying to set a trap. We actually have positional prio here. Zayas also teleports in in the nick of time to try to deny Toby entry. This is a great setup for T1. Yeah, no TP for Doran. They just want to go for it. That is a dead Zeus. As now the fight may heavily go in the way of Gen G. As the knockup here on a beat up, but he's got stopwatch. As Baker is going to go down for free. Gen G just trying to get as much value on the backside of this fight as possible. Yeah, uh, they're just going to push and take this turret out. And I, I, I thought that the attempt to take Baron was fantastic. That follow up, like Zeus going down, is fine, but the extra is not. As owner again is going to get knocked up by. Delight, who just has his number in this game. And now, Jovi, the pick potential, the mobility, everything coming forward. And maybe it's late, but 21 minutes in, Zeri. And like, owners two and three on this cause has been picked multiple times. We mentioned it straight up in the draft. When you watch the lock in of the pick, when he's talking specifically to the team, as we'll save that for another time, we got to talk about this Baron fight. Genji going to start this one up as the charm is going to hit Guma, forces the cleanse, but. Enough delaying of time here from the side of T1, and now Doran gonna have to flash out of this one, and the follow-up comes in! That is a dead Jax as Gen G leave him to the side, and now T1 will start up this Baron. Oh man, this is just such fantastic map reads from T1. The teleport from Faker just right in the middle of the team fight. That's how confident they are. They have control. Peanut has flash, but won't be able to contest oh, this early. Oh, getting in. He is just dead now, though. Not able to steal that one away as the uh, Wombo Combo onto Zeri. Down will go Pays. Not even. All right, they will be able to, to do a ton with this Baron. I mean, this game is 100% is T1s to lose now. I really loved how they set that one up. Clear the Drake as quickly as possible. That Faker Kha'Zix damage. Faker waits because he has teleport so he can show up for the Baron fight. They send Owner over first, and Gen.G just get destroyed on this subsequent fight. Not even close, and Chovy missing a lot of critical charms here. Might be his first loss of Arya on the, se the season if things continue like this. Two and hips down now. All right, trying to do it again as the charm angle, again, not going to hit. Faker just stands his ground, and Doran's caught again! Just going to get comboed by Karia and put into the Death Realm. As now Zeus and Guma trying to lead the charge here. They don't have a wave, but they're just going to sit on the turrets 5v4. They have a lot of damage for these turrets as well as a cannon minion here now, and this might just be the beginning of the end here. Gen G, they don't have really great tools to turn this. Delight's ult's coming back up, but even getting into position is going to be really difficult. He's got the flank. 
He does, but there's just a Gragas zoning him. There's an Alistair zoning him. He has to engage onto Zaya with Featherstorm, and they're just not even going to get an angle to do it. They're just going to end the game. Will T1, and they tie up the series. We officially have the series on our hands. And the T1 chance are starting.